Please welcome Xu Yin Zhao. Well, well, well. Another day, another AI doing coding demo. But hey, at least this time, they have upped the ante and ditched the snake game for a 3D chess demo. Yes, I'm talking about the new GitHub Copilot conference where they rolled out a fresh set of features in their latest release. So let's dive into some spicy updates from GitHub Copilot. Specifically, let's talk about their recent additions like multi-file editing and choosing between multiple AI models. Features that, let's be honest, feel like a direct lift from cursor. So if you have been thinking, wait, didn't cursor already do this? Well, you are not alone. Let's go into it. First up, let's talk about a game-changing feature in GitHub Copilot's latest release, multi-file editing. This means you can now make comprehensive changes across multiple files simultaneously, with Copilot taking care of the heavy lifting. But here's the kicker. Cursor users have had this luxury for a while now. It seems like Copilot's move is less about innovation and more about playing catch-up. What's really cool in Cursor is how they handle the context of multiple files. For example, you can open up a Cursor's new Composer feature and write a single prompt to refactor a function or update a component across your entire code base. And it understands exactly where and what needs to change. GitHub Copilot, meanwhile, is just now rolling out something similar, showing that they are finally realizing how essential this feature is for modern development workflows. And here's a little more on what Copilot is doing to make their features stand out. They have demonstrated that Copilot can now understand the context of a C++ header file, even when it's not open in your editor. So if you are working on a function that pulls in utilities from a header file, Copilot can suggest edits and code completions based on the file without you opening it manually. It definitely is a neat addition, but again, it's something Cursor has been handling with Finance for a while. In a nutshell, while GitHub Copilot's addition of multi-file editing is a positive step, it's clear they are drawing inspiration from Cursor's playbook. It's great to see these tools pushing each other to improve, but it's also important to highlight who is leading and who is in charge. Next, let's talk about GitHub Copilot's new Pick Your Model feature. Instead of sticking solely with OpenAI's models, Copilot now offers options like Anthropic's Cloud and Google's Gemini. Having multiple models to choose from is definitely useful, but let's be honest, it's another feature that Cursor nailed first. Cursor gives users the ability to select between models like GPT-4, Cloud, and their in-house model, providing flexibility depending on the coding language or complexity of task at hand. This choice is essential because let's face it, OpenAI's models don't always nail the nuances, especially in certain languages or complex project structures. Cursor recognized that earlier on and their model flexibility approach allowed developers to use the best fit AI without compromise. To put it bluntly, this whole update feels like GitHub Copilot saw cursor gaining traction and thought maybe we should do that too. What's my take? Well, I have a mixed feelings here. To say the least, GitHub Copilot's updates are a step forward, but it's hard to ignore that they are following cursor's lead. For those of us who have been using cursor, this update feels more like a patch than a groundbreaking feature release. At the end of the day, I'm all for any tool that actually makes coding easier and smarter. So whether it's cursor, GitHub Copilot or any other contender. So what's your take? Are these GitHub Copilot updates enough to make you switch or is it clear who is truly leading the pack? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and happy coding.